Getting started is easy. The following video provides a quick start guide for your new stair chair. Please refer to the manual included with your new Easy Glide for detailed guidelines and usage instructions. Also refer to the manual for guidelines on the proper care and maintenance of your Easy Glide evacuation stair chair. Attaching patient restraints. The Easy Glide stair chair can be used with any of three strapping methods: the horizontal configuration, the quick clip system, and the crisscross configuration. The horizontal configuration uses one restraint for the chest and one for the lap. The chest straps are attached through the matching horizontal or vertical slots in the backrest panel and the lap straps are attached through the seat panel slots. The quick clip system uses integrated shoulder and lap restraints. The shoulder lap strap of the restraint is attached through a horizontal slot on the backrest panel of the chair and the connector strap of the restraint is attached through the seat panel slot on the opposite side of the chair. Repeat this procedure with the opposite half of the restraint, attaching the straps to the opposite side of the chair. The crisscross configuration uses two restraints for the torso as well as a lap restraint for greater security. Follow the same procedure as with the quick clip for attachment. The Ferno Easy Glide Stair Chair is shipped with the ankle restraint pre-installed. Deploying the Chair The Easy Glide Evacuation Stair Chair is easy to unfold. To unfold the chair, stand beside the chair and grasp the backrest with one hand and the red lock bar with the other hand. Pull the red lock bar forward. Then pull the seat away from the backrest until it is fully unfolded and the lock engages. You may now roll the chair. Patient Transfer and Restraint When transferring and securing a patient, use accepted practices and follow local protocols. Consult product manuals for questions. To transfer the patient to the chair, Roll the chair next to the patient and verify that the chair lock is fully engaged. Engage the locks on the rear wheels and transfer the patient to the chair, providing assistance as needed. You may now proceed to restrain the patient using one of three restraint options. To restrain a patient using the quick clip system, adjust the length adjustment slide to fit the strap to the patient and bring a shoulder lap strap over the shoulder and across the chest. Securing the shoulder lap strap to the connector strap buckle on the opposite side. Repeat this with the opposite shoulder lap strap. Bring both sides of the lap restraint section together across the patient's lap and hands and secure and tighten using the dual adjust buckle. To restrain a patient using the crisscross method, adjust the length of the strap to fit the patient and bring a strap over the shoulder and across the chest securing the shoulder strap to the mating half on the opposite side. Repeat this with the opposite strap. Bring both sides of the lap strap section together across the patient's lap and hands and secure and tighten the lap restraint. To restrain a patient using the horizontal configuration, adjust the length of the strap to fit the patient and bring the chest strap across the chest, securing it to the mating half on the opposite side. Bring both sides of the lap strap section together across the patient's lap and hands and secure and tighten the lap restraint. To restrain the patient's feet, extend the footrest and place the patient's feet on the footrest. Connect and secure the foot restraint across the patient's feet. Patient Transport To descend stairs, the head end operator rolls the Easy Glide to the stairs and engages the wheel locks by pressing down on the rear end of the lock pedal. Open the track system by grasping the track release bar and firmly pull it back until the track locks into the fully extended position. Verify that the lock is engaged by trying to push the track closed. If the lock is fully engaged, the track will not move. Raise the extending lift bar to one of the five locking positions as desired and verify that it is locked. The foot end operator presses the release button to push or pull foot end lift handles to one of five locked lifting positions. 
Verify that both handles are locked by trying to push or pull them without pressing the release buttons. When the locks are engaged, the handles will not move. The spotter stands below the foot end operator with a hand on the operator's back to help steady and guide him or her throughout the descent. When ready, the head end operator disengages the wheel locks by pressing down on the forward end of the lock pedal and tilts the chair back. Next, both operators work together to guide the chair over the edge of the top step, allowing the track belts to engage the step. Move the chair slowly downward until the tracks are resting on the top two or three steps. This establishes the glide angle. To maintain the glide angle as you descend, the head end operator applies slight downward pressure on the extended lift bar, while the foot end operator applies slight upward pressure on the foot end lift handles. When the chair reaches the bottom of the steps and the rear wheels are on the floor, the head end operator tips the chair forward until all four wheels are on the floor and the foot end operator retracts the lift handles. The head end operator then closes the tracks by pushing down on the red track closing handle until the track closes completely. To roll the chair, the head end operator adjusts the lift bar to a comfortable height and grasps it to push and guide the chair on all four wheels. You may also tilt the chair back and roll it on its rear wheels. The foot end operator assists the head end operator as needed and attends the patient. Roll the chair on smooth, flat surfaces whenever possible. For patient comfort, pull the chair backward over low obstacles such as door sills or use the extending lift bar and telescoping foot end handles to lift and carry the chair over curbs, obstacles, rough surfaces, and rough terrain. To fold the chair, buckle restraints and adjust them to prevent interference when folding the chair. Roll the chair backward a foot or two to move the swivel wheels to the reversing position. Grasp the backrest with one hand and the red lock bar with the other hand. Pull the red lock bar forward and then begin folding the seat toward the backrest while tilting the chair forward. This keeps the front wheels aligned and ensures the lock will engage. Press the seat against the backrest until the lock engages. Going upstairs. To carry the chair upstairs, the head end operator rolls the chair to the bottom of the stairs and positions it with the patient's back to the stairs. Extend the lift bar to the desired position and verify that it is locked. The foot end operator extends the foot end lift handles to the desired position and verifies that both handles are locked. Working together, the operators grasp the lift bar and the lift handles and carry the chair up the stairs. The spotter keeps a hand on the head end operator's back to steady and guide him or her throughout the ascent. At the top of the stairs, the head end operator sets the rear wheels of the chair on the floor and rolls the chair backward until the front wheels are securely on the floor. The foot end operator retracts the foot end lift handles. The head end operator then adjusts the lift bar to a comfortable height before rolling the chair. Contact. For more information on the Easy Glide or for help with a chair you have purchased, Contact your local sales representative or call Ferno Customer Service at 877-733-0911. You may also visit our website at ferno.com.